magic minnow. Flyman's version of a rattle trap. Ingredients list. A Mustad L87 3665A streamer hooks. Size 2. Thread is 130 to 200 denier gel spun. The flash is pearl web from Fly Tires Dungeon. The rattles are buckshot rattles from Northland Tackle. The eyes are seven millimeter silver eyes. The body is easy body medium pearl. The size medium is the key for the size of the rattles. I also use UV knot sense from Loon and the lamp that cures it and super glue. Today I'm going to be tying a magic minnow. This is by far and away my largest contribution to fly fishing and fly tying. I used this last fall, came up with it. It's my version of a rapala for a fly fisherman. Worked great. Caught my largest pike and my largest walleye on this many times over. All, fall, all October, November fishing this. So, I'm using a Mustad uh, L87-3665A, which is just this redone version of a 3665A hook. It's a size 2, 7X long hook. Length comes in handy, you'll see. I'll start it by laying down a base of thread to uh, the point of the hook, or the barb of the hook. I'm using my rotary. I just really want to cover it up back here more than anything. And for the tail of the fly, I'm using Pearl Web from FlyTiresDungeon.com. Check it out. Great material for the price. Uh, this is what it looks like. Very, very cool. Cheap flash. And it looks wonderful in the water. I've cut this about twice the length of the hook, doubling it over. Cut it a little bit longer than that, I've noticed. So I'm going to tie this in. I'm going to tie it in quite well. Do a couple loose wraps. I've got this probably halfway, a little less than halfway up the hook. And I'm going to wrap it down pretty good. And then I'll then fold the rest of it over kind of in the opposite direction. So I've got one side on, of the flash on the side facing the camera and the other side the other side of the flash on the side facing me and I'm going to crank down on this using my gel spun thread. I think this is 130 or 150 denier gel spun thread. So it's definitely got the ability to torque down on it. And I will bring that back to the point of the hook so you can see the flash at this point. There's a lot of it, but that's the tail of the fly. Now at this point, I'm using a Easy Body Medium Pearl braided mylar. And this is going to be a actual body of the fly. Now I slide this over the hook. You can still see it's over the hook. I pull it back to about where I finished my thread wraps and I'm going to continue tying this just to catch it in. This is going to be the body of my fly. And I'm going to catch that there. Now, I'm going to go right above to cut it off right at the eye of the hook. I'm going to cut it off right there. Now that I've cut it off, I'm going to continue to tighten down. And this is where I wrap it pretty extensively with this thread because this is going to hold the body and the rattle that goes inside. So from here I'll do a whip finish and tie this off. And then I'll add a 
dab of super glue. I'll whip finish this a couple times just because I want to make sure this holds. I've never had any of the tails come loose or come out or anything like that, but I'm going to hope it's because of my uh, over paranoid uh, whip finishing gluing process that I go through. So. Crank down on that, hold that pretty tight, cut the thread. At this point in time, I'll add a dab of super glue. Not that I need it, but just to be safe. Alright, from here buckshot rattles. These are the trick. Love these things. Now well, might as well cut the bag. I buy them in bulk. Found them at uh, Gander Mountain, Cabela's, various other places. There's two of them. You can buy them in two clear sets. Buckshot jig rattles. Get a couple balls in there, go back and forth. You can see that there's a little handle on it. I pushed the handle in. This whole fly is going to ride hook up. So I push the actual rattle in there and I leave it right in the front. Now I'm going to reintroduce my reintroduce my thread at the front of the hook right behind the eye. Get rid of the excess and uh Just leave it like that. I have not tied in the rattle. I'm not going to tie in the rattle. Leaving the rattle, introduce the hook. Here's where I introduce my wing, or put on my wing, which is once again the pearl web. I'm going to take a good chunk of it. Half the thickness of a pencil, and I'm going to measure it out to go past the actual hook. It's going to be longer than the hook. Not much, just about the length of the hook. Cut this off, and I'll tie this in. Now, right behind the hook eye, I'm going to tie this clump of flash in. This will be the hard part of the whole fly, is getting that in there. A couple loose wraps to start out with. Pull back on the flash. All that almost worked. And try to get it all so it rides on top. You can have it ride, ride around the hook a little bit. Use your fingers and straighten it out. And then crank down on it. That's where I'm at. Trim the excess. Yeah. So I don't cover my hook eye. 